Good morning peeps. We're gonna start today with injector rebuild DIY stuff and then we're gonna hop right into the M50 manifold swap. So here we have a rebuilt injector, new filter, new o-rings, new pencil cap. This one's stripped down and these have not been touched yet so there's the old filter on the screw and now we can just unscrew that guy and we'll see and be careful not to scratch it we can just pull the o-ring and spacer off and slide it in there and I'll take it and I'll push it against the table spacer on new o-ring and then our new pencil cap Mm-mm-mm! Mmm! -mm. Mm. Beautiful! Beautiful rebuilt injectors. How nice is that? So we're gonna start by modifying the fuel rail first. You do need to trim part of the intake manifold in order to fit the adapter kit on there. This fuel rail actually has quick connects. Now, if you take this connector, this little black part, push it in to itself, you can then pull it off of the fuel rail like that. So now we have our fuel rail completely disconnected from the car. We don't have to deal with it or deal with it in the car. Now we can begin to modify the fuel rail. Something like that. See what I'm talking about. So that racket, that bracket is in the way. And you can also see what trimming we're going to need to have to do to get that to fit in nicely. Alright, so I've got the fuel rail adjusted, sitting roughly where I want it to be. So I just took a file, it probably took me about half an hour just to grind down that side. And then grind down the adjacent side for fitment. Yeah, so that'll be perfect. Um, so now we're gonna have to strip this completely down because we are gonna need to modify this bracket to adapt it to the new manifold. Ugh. Idle air control was super gross. And we got a bracket cut. Giving you a shot of that for reference, just to confirm how it goes. So on the ICV, it's the smaller one. So not the bigger one, but the smaller one that goes towards there. Now the only thing missing from this setup is this guy. This is a manifold support bracket. And it goes somewhere like that. You can install them if you want to. I really don't believe in it because it makes it way more of a pain to pull the manifold back off. And honestly, they don't really do anything. I've run without these for quite some time on a few of my other cars and I've had zero issues, so I don't worry about these. Look at this beautiful deliciousness. Mmm, M50 swap, baby. Now we just gotta do 
out of layer temp stuff. So I got a drill bit here about the same size as that section of the air sensor. And we're gonna put a hole right there. So I am going to pull this O-ring off. We're gonna clean that up pretty good. I'm gonna smack a little bit of RTV right in that area right there. And I'm gonna try and work this in and use the hole that I made for the boot to go where the O-ring was. And hopefully that should provide enough of a seal to where it won't leak. If you're gonna do it this way, do be careful not to get any RTV in the sensor itself. You can see that top little ridge, and that's the bottom part or the top part of where that O-ring sits. So I pretty much just replaced the O-ring with the boot and threw some RTV on there. Good fitment, we're gonna let that dry for a little while and it should be good to go. The other end is gonna go on that check valve. And now when we go to plug the manifold in, we just gotta run that over to that little T on the manifold and it'll be good. And you can trim these vacuum lines if you want to, because they're pretty long. All right, got the throttle body all cleaned up. We're just about ready to put everything back together. It's going to be so nice. So we're almost ready to reinstall the intake manifold. A couple things I'm gonna do beforehand is I'm going to clean the mating surfaces for the intake manifold. Vacuum line plugged in on the back there. So I set the manifold where it wants to be on its studs. Our PCB hose. I'm gonna get that one on. And the rail should sit nice and flush in there. And the ejector should be almost bottomed out. So the intake manifold and the fuel rail system is back on. Ah, it's freaking hot today, boys. All right, now we just got the throttle stuff to do. So that is that guy. So I'm gonna plug my air temp sensor in. Install this boot. 
Boom, baby! So I bled the cooling system and took it around the block real quick just to make sure everything was running perfectly. I haven't gotten on it yet, but I'm excited. It's running well. Everything is installed properly. It means we did it. Oh, damn! Is that an M50, bro? Would you look at that? All nice and tucked away. Everything is right with the world. Hey. The top end on this thing, when you have an M50 swap, disgusting. M50 manifold swap, cop motor short ram intake, Castle performance tune, rogue underdrive pulleys, small electric fan conversion, a lightweight flywheel, manual swap, 3.38 LSD is a freaking deadly combo for one of these NAS 52 cars. This thing is ballistic compared to when I first bought it. Thing freaking rips, dude. All right, swap is dialed in. I will see you guys the next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it fresh and I'll see you guys later.